Hello, this is Watch All About with another watch review, and in this review, we are looking at a watch currently on Kickstarter. Kickstarter campaign ends uh, April the 26th, 2018, and this is the Ayers Metropolitan. So, Ayers are a brand who uh, originate from Australia, uh, and uh, obviously, it is a very smart, classy looking uh, watch. So, let's have a look at it in closer detail. So, the price, Kickstarter pledges start at around $500, which equals to about 355 GBP, 355 pounds. RRP will be higher at for uh, $980 or 700 pounds. So for a micro brand, that may seem a bit steep. So let's have a look at it in much closer detail to see if it's worth your money. So just a, a quick mention, this is an early prototype. so. It has been passed around a lot, so there are quite a few little scratches here and there. Um, there are a couple of upgrades that will be made to this uh, from this version as well, so there's going to be better loom, and also the crown will be um, a screw-in crown rather than a push-pull crown, so there are a couple of things just to keep in mind. Okay, size-wise, so I've got uh, between a 7 and a quarter to 7.5 inch wrist, I've got a 44 mil diameter, Quite a slender height of 10.5 mil, and then a lug to lug length of 51.2 millimeters. So, um, immediately, you know, it does demand quite a lot of attention, especially with that striking uh, dial. Um, but uh, I think the slender, slender height actually helps it be quite wear wearable because you can still wear it under cuffs quite easily. Um, and, uh, you know, the lug's quite well turned in, the, the lugs themselves are quite dumpy. Uh, to be fair, so they do um, the the watch does hug your wrist quite nicely. Weight wise, with a few links removed, it's coming in at 159 grams, so it does feel pretty weighty on the wrist. Feels good quality. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's really nice, uh, chunky amount of steel, especially the width of the the bracelet there. Uh, water resistance is 10 meters, uh, 10 atmospheres, or 100 meters, so you are covered for a, uh, a certain amount of uh, water resistance issues. I wouldn't. Personally, I wouldn't swim in it though. Um, it's not the kind of watch you would go swimming in. It's a bit more of a, a classy, smarter dress watch, isn't it? Um, 26 mil wide lugs. However, it is a custom, uh, custom shape as you can see there. So you couldn't actually put uh, a 26 mil strap on it. You'd have to cut out the little indent there. Uh, we do have drilled through lugs, um, but as I mentioned, you wouldn't necessarily be able to uh, use a stock leather strap without hacking away at it a little bit anyway. Um, movement, Miota 9015. So movement we see time and time again in micro brands. One that is very, very reliable, easy to um, uh, easy to regulate as well. And this one has been really well regulated. It's coming in, coming in at plus 5.8 seconds a day. So that is highly impressive. Usually, I think that anything within 10 seconds a day is, you know, is pretty good for a, an aff affordable mechanical. So the fact that this has been regulated to 5.8, that's great. Um, it, you know, it's a high beat movement as well. Um, so 28.8 uh, thousand beats per hour, eight ticks a second. So you do get your nice sweeping seconds hand, as you can see. And then we also have a customized rotor. Uh, but we'll have a look at that in a little bit closer detail later on. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's all the specs. So let's uh, have a look at it in closer detail. So start from the top, start from the dial. And in my opinion, the most striking part about the watch. I haven't actually seen for a very long time um, a dial quite as exquisite as this on a micro brand. It really, really is splendid. Um, what's cool as well is everything is loomed more or less. Um, it's quite a cartwheel -y kind of... Um, uh, look to it as well. Uh, so these blue blue background bits, that's all loomed, and then obviously our applied hour markers and our hands, uh, they're all loomed as well. So whilst this the loom on this particular model isn't the strongest, um, the loom will be upgraded uh, on the production models. Uh, it really does, you know, create. It's quite a spectacle. Uh, it's it's like a full. It is basically a full loom dial, uh, but with with this skeletonized kind of appearance, if you will, in the dark. Um, if you have a look at the full written review, you'll be able to see a loom shot. Um, now, whilst it's very good to look at, the cartwheel, um, these kind of crosses, they do 
create a little bit of issue with reading uh, the legibility of the dial. So for instance, I personally haven't had an issue with it. Um, so if you have good eyesight, then you're not likely to be, yeah, it's not likely to uh, create too much of an issue with you. But uh, it is worth mentioning uh, that at certain times, for instance, 10 to 2, when the hands line up with the, the, the lines on the dial, it may be a little bit difficult to read the time. So that is certainly something worth mentioning, something worth being aware of. Uh, however, I haven't found an issue, but I just you know noticed that and wanted to flag it up. Uh, so we'll have a look at it in much closer detail, but everything is really exquisitely made. Uh, I'll put the macro lens on later on. The uh, the logo, you know, if we have to try and have a look at it in closer detail. We have some tremendous um, depth and texture to the dial. This blue backdrop has a, a very gentle texture to it, which is really nice. And then we obviously have a plenty, plentiful of applied elements, all the hour markers. Uh, this top pattern as well is a, an applied applied element too and the hands are just really nicely manufactured as well so it's really really flawless our date wheel is looking nice and crisp there as well so really excellent manufacturer of the dial uh, very impressed by it for especially you know for a for an early prototype it's really really good so hopefully with the production models it might be even better who knows moving on to the case then so primarily brushed we have a very gentle uh, cheeky polished uh, inner ring to the uh, bezel which introduces a nicer difference in um, in finishing so you, that does catch the light quite nicely uh, apart from that you know a pretty standard flat cushion case um, as you can see we just have some flat sides fully brushed moving on to this side we have our crown with our crown guards the crown has the airs uh, motif logo embossed on the end and as I mentioned, whilst this is push-pull, the uh, uh, production model will be uh, screwing, so that will be good for water resistance. Moving on to the case back. Not a crazy amount of uh, excitement here, but, you know, everything you need. Uh, various details surrounding the outside. We have a, a cheeky little um, uh, serial number here as well, and obviously an exhibition window. So the exhibition window does a fine job of showing the movement in all its glory. You know, Miyota movements, not the best looking. However, they've done what they can with a custom printed rotor, which is nice. Um, but as I say, it is just printing. So it's nothing too crazy exciting. However, it's nice to see the effort there and it is nicer than just the stock rotor. So good job uh, for Ayers uh, for doing that. Moving on to the bracelet then, really thick, fat, chunky bracelet, really nicely uh, manufactured as well. And uh, what I do like is we've got these H links, but um, the, the central interlinking links and the surrounding links have alternate br uh, brushing directions, which is quite a nice touch. So they do provide difference, differences in um, uh, light reflection. So these interlinking bits are horizontally brushed so that the brushing goes that way and the H links themselves are vertically brushed so that goes that way. So you know, when you're looking at it, it does provide a variety of finishes, as you can see. However, you know, it's still all brushed. Usually the center link, you know, might be polished, for instance, but polished links are always much more susceptible to hairline scratches and damage, etc. Um, so it's it's a really good way of, of keeping the bracelet looking interesting, but keeping that um, having a brushed link is always much more resilient to scratches. So that's good. Uh, the butterfly clasp, uh, very nicely done as well. We have some nice little cheeky purlage as well, which you don't usually see. So um, on these arms here, have some purlage there. We have the underside here with some purlage there. And then the top half clips over the top, creating a nice little uh, seamless link. Uh, obviously, this is the early prototype, so we do have a fair amount of scratches on that polished joining link but uh, we can see the airs logo uh, engraved on the top there so nice job okay let's get the macro lens on and we'll have a look at it in much closer detail so just give the dial a quick wipe <coughs> right here we go so there we see the uh, applied uh, skeleton of the dial you can see how deep it is really nice depth very good quality pretty much flawless in construction really impressive we can also see this 
very subtle, almost like it is a texture, texture like texture <laughs> um, of the blue backdrop, which isn't really, really uh, noticeable unless you're looking at it up close. But it, you know, when you do notice it, it is a really nice um, touch. Looking at these hour markers then, as you can see there as well, these are really thick, really nicely made. Look at that. Very, very high quality. There's our date window, really crisp cut as well. Moving on to our hands. So we've got a little Airs logo on the, as the counterweight of the white seconds hand. There's our hour hand. Moving on to our minute hand, similar shape as well, polished uh, too, so that catches the sun nicely. But yeah, really impressed by the quality of dial. Moving on to the case then. Let's just get this side here. Have our brushed, brushed main block to the side. Moving on to our lug. Nice sharp edges to the lugs, as you can see there. And then we have our bezel with our polished ring around the outside. If I flip it over, we can have a look at the crown. There's the crown. And there it is. With the uh, logos embossed on the end. Nice and easy to use. And then if I flip it over, I'll have a look at the case back. So there's the various details engraved around the outside. Nice uh, deep engraving. There's our, let me try and get the serial number. There's our serial number there. And then looking at our uh, movement, if I just give that exhibition window a bit of a wipe down. There we can see it ticking away. Very light uh, purlage on the top of there. You know, the Miyota movement isn't particularly well known for being a gorgeous movement, so it's very industrial, so that's how it is. Here's our custom print work on the rotor. Nice, uh, nice job on that, as you can see. Okay, moving on to the bracelet then let's have a look at some of these you'll have to apologize for the scratches on this because as i mentioned a few times it is an early prototype so there's a horizontal brushing followed by a vertical brushing on the h link below it but the uh, the links are really smoothly done really nicely made they're also um they also have screw in pins as you can see and the pins are really nice and sturdy and solid easy to use Moving on to the butterfly clasp, here's the clasp itself, and the inside purlage, as you can see there, nice little attention to detail, that's the top of the under, under section, and then close it up, and here's the top of the clasp, there's the logo engraved on the top of it, as you can see. Okay, so <clears throat> I have been uh, very, very impressed with the uh, build construction of uh, the Ayers Metropolitan. Uh, certainly the dial, I haven't seen for a very long time a dial of this, you know, um, intricacy on a micro brand. So really, really well done to Ayers for, um, for making such an interesting design, not only that, but also really, really fantastically constructed. Uh, watch in general. Um, the Kickstarter price, £355 or $500, very, very good proposition. Personally, the RRP, I feel, is a little bit too high. £700, um, you know, when you have well-established Swiss-made brands for cheaper, such as Steinhardt, Christopher Ward, and then, you know, not forgetting Tissot, Hamilton, it can, you know, it is a bit of a tough cookie to swallow, uh, that RRP. So I really, really hope it does get dropped a little bit. However, saying that, you know, the quality is very, very impressive. The dial is stunning. The casework is really good. The bracelet is massively chunky as well. So um, it is an excellent watch. Really, really is. Um, and for the Kickstarter price or, you know, or, or a relatively good price, if you can get it, I would highly recommend it. So uh, very nice uh, being um, able to, to have a look at this watch. So that this was the Ayers Metropolitan, 
and that's what it's all about.